M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the Zygu G90. Today we're looking at the DE19 and it's written on the front of the case just here. You can see it's called a USB radio interface and primarily I would say it was designed for the amplifiers, the X125, but it also acts as a USB interface for your G90. There's a cheaper model called the CE19, but you do need the USB cable that came with the radio with the blue, with the blue um, the connector CH340 type driver that you would plug into the bottom port just here where my finger is, just there. It's the bottom port uh, and you can use that for up, updating the firmware on the head unit. Anyway, the idea of the DE19, these are about £40, is that it pretty much does everything without you needing that cable. There is a CIV connector just here, you can see, just here with a 3.5 jack, that's a bit glary, 3.5 jack that goes from here to the bottom com. So also with this unit, if you look here, there's an eight pin connector that plugs into the back of the G19, eight pin connector. And you can't get it wrong because it can only go in in one way, but make sure you get it the right way around because one side has got three pins and the other end has got two. So just definitely be very careful when you plug this in the back, this cable here, the back or the into this box, look carefully, put a torch on it and just get it in the right way around because you will not be happy if you bend those pins, but it, you know, I've done that before and I've bent them back, but anyway. So I, I, in this video, I'm just trying to get FL rig working at the moment. I'm, I am trying to do WSJTX, but I'm finding it keeps bouncing the frequency. So I thought I'd have a go at FL rig. Now you can download FL rig and I'm gonna show you FL rig in a sec, I'm just bringing over these boxes. You can download it from this site here and I'll put a link in the description just in case you um, want to do that. So let's have a quick look at, how, at what we've got set up on our FL, FL rig settings. So once you've downloaded it, which is a straightforward XE, then you'll get this window. And then you press file and go, now to go along to config and setup. And at the top it says transceiver. Now there's a lot more to this. I'm brand new to this, but I'm just going to show you what's working and connecting to my G90. So you select transceiver and you get this new window open up. And you can see here. Now these are my settings that has allowed me to connect to the device. Now it's not working perfectly, but um, I'll show you in a sec that we, we are linked. Quite hard to show, but anyway, Here's my thing. Look at the top here. So drop down is G90. The, if we right click on the Windows square at the bottom, right click device manager. Double click ports. You'll see that my cable is coming up as USB serial CH340 COM11. Okay, so that's what I've got at the moment. So we're going to choose COM11. And the baud rate is 19200. On the radio, I haven't actually changed anything, but what they do say is if you hold down the function button and go all the way along to the right until you get to, there it is, number five setting up here it's number eight and you can change it up and down with the volume with this channel knob and then the next one is I've set it at 15 okay and then press exit or well save it first yeah so that I, I didn't really have to change that it was already there like that then I unticked the RTS and the DTR I've ticked two stop bits because that was what I saw in a video then you clicked click active or, or, or in it, Sorry, then you click initiate and it connects. I know it's closing now because I'm, I'm sort of connecting by where I was already connecting. So just connect again. So if I change the frequency on my radio, you'll see that the FL Digi is changing as well. So we've got success there. We'll just ch try changing the mode. Does that show you? 
yeah, I can see it changing. Now let's do it using the actual FODG. Now, I am getting a glitch here. Maybe you can help me out with this. If I go to scroll the frequency, I'm getting an, I am getting an error. Let's just move this one up a bit here. If I close this window a minute. So if I go change mode, look, USB, that's working. I can see it. You have a look. I'll just zoom in on the radio so you can see. So you can see the box flashing away at the top there. So that's doing its thing. But let's just let you see the radio. Because it actually took me quite a while to actually get this to even begin to work uh, on the Zygu. But anyway, let's, um, what's this one here on the left? Not applicable. So VFO A and B, look at the radio. You'll see that the radio is is switching across to VFO A and B. So we've got rig control because you think, well, what is FL rig? And I've never actually used it, but it's rig control. It's software that's using, I suppose, the CIV connection, whatever the CAT connection as well, to uh, control things. So let's turn up the volume and go back to the A band and then um, tune. Let's do the tuner. Yeah, tune's working, M0FXB. PTT. Yeah, that bit is not working. Um, attenuation and preamp. Yeah, it looks like the preamp's working. And then we've got AGC and power, which I, as far as I can see, is working. We've got memories here. You can save memories. Got a CW Kia online help. Go far. Just show you my settings again. So we go config setup transceiver. And there you are G90 COM11 board rate 19200. And I did go into my, I went right click device manager. I went to the actual COM port connection, went to 11, right click, properties, and what I did, I just made sure that it was 19200, you go to port settings, port settings, and 19200, so that's all okay, We've matched that up well, trying to get my radio out of the way. So let me know, so what happens now is, if I close that and I try and scroll the frequency, if I click on it and try and scroll, it, FL Rig wants to close. So as soon as I do that, it wants to close. So there's, there's definitely something still not quite right. So let me know if you can help me on that. And um, we are sort of getting there bit by bit. And uh, you see my settings. Bye for now, 7.3, all the best.